What's good everybody? Raiden Yoshi here with more cave story. Last time we defeated the core, but now Curly Brace has sacrificed herself so that we can live. And we have Curly Brace barely alive on our back. Now we have to traverse one of my least favorite platforming areas in the game. The waterway. The waterway it's not the worst thing in the world, but my goodness. It is annoying to traverse the waterway. So you want to be careful here. Because, you know, you'll come here, like, after being low from fighting the boss and having barely survived. And you need to very, very carefully traverse this area. It is very, very easy to mess this up. Those are spikes over there. Those are death. Don't touch them. Also, I don't think I ever showed this all. But... We have Curly Brace's air tank, which is why she had a bubble, a bubble around her before. So what essentially happened is Curly Brace sacrificed herself to put her air tank on us when we were drowning. Okay, uh, want to be careful here not to touch the spike. Carefully jump over the spikes. I don't think these spikes one hit you, but I do think they do a nice chunk of damage, which makes them not fun to deal with. Also, we're in a bubble, so logic stands to reason that we should pop if the bubble hits a spike. I'm gonna be very careful here. We got all these jellyfish. These jellyfish are not easy to deal with. They're weak, but they're annoying. So just wanna use your weapons to kind of deal with a few of them. Whoa! Yeah, you also have to be very careful of the water currents here. Because the water current is just everywhere and it just will launch you. See? You can kind of tell where the different water currents are. Right. Oh my goodness. Please. Please, game. Please. Game. No. no. Yes. 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 This is where you want to go. It is very easy to mess up there. And you actually want to carefully land here. And get over to this door. That's not that hard, but it's very easy to screw it up. Text displayed on screen. How about taking a break for now? So, let's take a rest on the bed. Resting here will actually... One, it takes curly breaks off of us, and two, it fills our HP. It, that reminds me, I also recorded some findings in, on that notebook. So, at this point, we can save the game. We can also leave this area and just kind of leave Curly Brace here. But, let's actually check this book shelves first. The notebook is covered in dust. Open the notebook. Robots mouth manufactured on the surface have limited aquatic mobility. In the case of flooding, the system will automatically initiate a shutdown to prevent from short-circuiting. Below are several instructions on how to service flooded robots. We learned how to service flooded robots. Flood systems will begin a reboot process automatically after using the above method of draining. Alright, then let's drain the water from Curly. You're safe. Oh, I'm glad. I thought you were a goner. You lost consciousness, and I couldn't think of anything to do about it. So I gave you my air tank. It worked out, didn't it? Ugh. She fell asleep. The restart process will take some time to complete. You can do it. Would you like to leave her here? No. We're not leaving Curly Brace here. You cannot leave Curly Brace behind. We need to take her with us. And now after saving the game, let us go. As a point, this down path right here, 
if you accidentally get sucked in here trying to make it over to this door, you can't get back up. So please keep that in mind. So you gotta carefully avoid all these spikes. And I'm avoiding these just by jumping and pressing button directions to influence which way I'm going when the water current hits me. Jump into the current. Stay low. Jump. Jump. Ah! No! Game! Whew! Okay. Oh, something's coming. Well, something is coming, ladies and gents. We have another boss fight. You thought we got a break? Nope. So this boss fight actually isn't that tough. It's just once it's behind you, you can't do anything to damage it. So you kind of want to play the game of maneuver around, dodge when it's behind you, then get behind it and unload a bunch of damage onto it when it's ahead of you. And the blade decimates this boss fight. Curly Brace, no! Ow. Hey, I remember this place. This is over by the Mamiga Village. I don't remember this being the song playing. Um, how should I move through here? So, while we're here in the Mamiga Village, there's a couple things I want to do before we do anything else. Ow, stop bonking your head. This song is very eerie, creepy, and sad. Not necessarily in that order. So we come into Arthur's house, and we use this extra jellyfish juice I got earlier. We find a bubble line. <laughs> As a point, you could have gotten this a long time ago. I just completely forgot about it. Dr. Booster! You're all right! Oh, it's just you. The doctor has amassed the red flowers. All the Mamiga of this island have now fallen under his grip. Tragedy is inevitable. Had I known these events would transpire, then I should have at least had to escape from the island. Please honor my final request. If you see Sue one last time, take her and escape from the island. She is Dr. Sakamoto's daughter. For the longest time, she resisted coming to the island, but she couldn't be left behind all alone. She had no choice but to follow us to the island. Please, take her and escape. Well, that's Dr. Booster's request. By the way, Dr. Booster's alive! So this is a really weird and kind of unintuitive thing about this game. That time when we saw Bo Dr. Booster fall, you jump down there, you get the boosters 0.8, which is a worse version of the booster, which I actually started describing this booster initially. So the booster 0.8 boosts you once upwards. This, the booster 2.0, boosts you four times in all four directions. Teleport to Egg Quarter, Kazuma. Kazuma went to the Egg Quarter for some reason. Well, let's go and see what's going on here. Um, what happened to the Egg Quarter? There was a violent explosion all of a sudden. Everything was like this after I came back. What the heck is going on? Look, that's what I'm saying right now. What happened? There's like... Oh my goodness. Look, just everything's destroyed and mangled and we still have these shit bags. God. I landed on me. So we have all these stupid bugs and stuff. The egg quarter has seen better days, ladies and gents. There, that thing's dead. Alright. Let's we need a little bit more experience. Okay, there we go. And we have level three of the lovely blade weapon again. Oh my. This poor dragon. Our max missiles increased. 
Also, uh, um... I'll be careful here. There. We want to be very, very careful when dealing with these enemies here. Also, there are fallen stalactites. Please be careful of them. They come in both small and big varieties, with the big ones becoming platforms. So please be careful and take your time. Cthulhu's Abode. I don't know who sat here and decided that this is how this architecture needed to be. <gasps> oh, I forgot I had that. I honestly forgot I had the booster. Like that fast, I completely forgot that it was a thing. So when I started flying up there, that actually scared me for a second. Oh my god, that rock just murked the dragon. Okay. We're just gonna safely take that one out. And we got a... Is that like a gas cloud? Oh, stalactites. Oh yeah, that's a gas cloud and it just nukes everything. So be careful of that guy. He will give you a bit of a hard time. Okay. We're gonna actually go down here. Because since we have the booster, whew, we can actually very easily get up there to deal with that guy. Go around and down. Careful. And that's another enemy down. Excellent. So we have to go through this little broken window here. Open treasure chest. We got more missiles. A cold breeze blows through. Hey, look! Everybody likes dragons, right? So, what you want to do is when they open their mouth, that's when you want to hit them. If you can keep doing that, one, you'll get lots of damage off. But it also keeps them from attacking you. This fight is actually very easy once you understand how to do this. Oh, that's not good. Uh. Well, the, when they're under the platform, their attacks are pretty in inconsequential. You just want to be very weary when they're above. Oh my goodness. And your attacks can get these fireballs out of here. <sighs> Fuck. I almost had it. If I hadn't gotten hit that really, really early spot, I probably could have easily just dealt with that entire thing. Uh, we'll see you guys once we get back to that fight. All right. This fight is easy! 
I just need to stop being bad. The sisters is not hard. God. It's... The problem with a lot of bosses in this game, it's... A fight goes from easy to difficult by missing one attack. That's literally all it is. Well, fuck you too, game. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, so we're done with the sisters. Just gotta keep moving forward at this point. Oh. Bubbles! Okay, so bubbles is not the way that I want to live my life. Let us save and heal. Cause oh my goodness, if we got hit one more time, I might have gotten a little upset, not gonna lie. All right. Egg number zero zero. Text appears on screen. Incubation successful. Who's over there? Oh, it's you. I didn't know if you were safe or not. I'm the only person here. As you took off to Sand Zone, we sped up preparations for securing an escape. It was then that Misery showed up. Sue was taken away. And Professor Booster, he disappeared somewhere. The doctor has apparently acquired the flower seeds. But I am not blaming you. The doctor's victory was certain from the moment he acquired the demon crown. It's only a matter of time before his Mamiga army is ready to attack the surface. If that does happen, it will be futile to try and defeat the Doctor, even for you. But you have, you have no choice but to run from this place. Anyway, an escape is possible, but only by using a flying dragon. That is why I came here, all on my own. For the flying dragons that I need hatched safely. Want to escape with me? I know, it can't be helped. You did your best. Get on. Hold on tight. That's how you and Kazuma safely escaped the island. As his, as his flying fortress. For the century. Well, guys, that's not the end of the series. So, this is the bad ending of Cave Story. Should we choose to leave with Kazuma? We will end the game there. But it's not really a very resounding ending, is it? So next episode, we'll continue. And we'll see what happens if we don't leave with Kazuma. I'll see you guys then.